and this is the code composer studios window and we are going to create new cc's project select the output type a static library and give the project name as ht double four seven eight zero create the project and now create a folder called create a folder called include within which we are going to create a new header file we are going to name it as and dot h is very important here just go to the github repository copy the dot h file and place it in here and make sure we have the correct microcontroller part number and save this now we have to copy the main main.c contents go to that and copy the contents from the main.c file in the GitHub, git repository copy its contents and place it there in the code composer studio just copy it and place it in the main main file and include the search path for the header file so that the project will link the header file while compiling now go to the include options and add the include folder now we could be able to successfully build it and when we come when the building is completed we will have a special linker file called hd44780.lib which we will be using later and now create a new ccs project in which we are going to put in our main function now select the select the controller give a project name and my, in this case i am going to give it as ccs lcd1 change the output type as executable and finish and in this now we are going to copy the main main program just copy it and place it here this is the main program and now we have to include the file search paths for the compiler and the linker for this go to the properties menu in the include options go to add the include folder from the library project just include the include folder and now we will have to go to the linker options in this go to the file search path and add the add that special file for hd double four seven eight zero dot library to it now add the directory in which the, the file, this file is located and it is located in the debug folder just add that to and give apply and close and now we will be able to successfully build this new project there are no errors and we have successfully built it now just debug just click the debug account now we will be, be able to 
debug debug the code from the board from the launch pad msp 430 g2 launch pad just click proceed and you will be able to debug yeah 